Hey everybody, welcome to the call today. It's Ken Compton from the Savvy Inspector and I've got Coach William Troutman with me and we're talking about home inspection websites. Welcome Coach William. Hey, good to be here. Another, another great topic. We just keep knocking them out. I'm going to tell you, this is a really important topic and uh, um, why do you need a home inspection website? We're going to get right into that uh, Coach William because um, a website is so important and it's overlooked by so many. Uh, they just throw up a website that um, you know, it looks like a brochure without e even really understanding. And what we're going to do today is we're going to try to let you understand or try to help you understand um, why you need a home inspection and then look at some options for you. Okay. Go direct to the public. That's what, one of the reasons you need a, web, a, a home inspection website. Coach Wayne, let's talk about that a minute because that's hugely important. Yeah, you know, we um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, inspectors are strictly uh, marketing to real estate agents um, and overlook the opportunities that are there to go to the public. And you know, and I think uh, you and I have seen over the last several years um, that going to the public is more of the uh, direction that everybody needs to be heading in because um, you know there's less and less agents in the office and those kind of a lot, a lot of factors involved with that, but. Um, and then, of course, today's uh, millennials are, are buying crowd that's out there. Um, you know, they're, they're looking online uh, more so today than ever before, and I think that's going to continue to be the trend. So you've got to have a good presence online, <clears throat> and it's shocking the, the amount of folks that don't, or at least wise, what they do have is, like you said, stagnant, um, just does not convert. So it's pretty crazy when we look at it. We get a good chuckle if we want to get if we need a laugh. We're going to look at some home inspector websites. I'm <laughs> Uh, we've looked at a few over the years uh, in analysis for our uh, competitors of our clients, and uh, and it's pretty scary. Uh, people people haven't gotten it today. Our goal is to help you try to get it. So here's some stats we dug up. Uh, going direct to the public, 97% of consumers actively look for products and services online. Coach William, I know you do. We do too. 80% um, of searchers research online before purchasing in a 10 to 20 mile radius, and that's really important because home inspectors are a local business looking for local business. Uh, so that's a pretty cool stat for us. Unfortunately, about half of all U.S. and Canadian small businesses don't have a website. Um, and that, that's really scary. No, no online presence. But let's look at another reason why you need a website. And this is equally, equally as important um, to receive re a visitors from your referral sources. So, Coach William, what do you think about it? They put them on the list, and then what happens? Yeah, you know, it used to be, you know, that you would get a comment from inspectors about, I'm, I'm really not too worried about, you know, my online presence because all of my uh, referrals come from agents. And that was all cool when agents had their one inspector who they knew, liked, and trusted, and they would refer that one inspector. But today, of course, as we all know, um, they've been, um, you know, uh, trained now to protect their assets. Um, you know, uh, for liability, so now it's almost always at least three names on that list. And so in the mind of our clients, the consumer is that we must all be equal. If the agent puts a name on the list um, and there's three of them on there, they must all be good enough for the agent or they wouldn't be on there. So if they're good enough for the agent, they're good enough for me. And so now it becomes about price. And so the cheapest, you know, Charlie on the list uh, usually gets the job. So. We have got to find a way to get our name off of that list, um, and there's several different ways to do that and differentiate ourselves to, you know, back up the fact of why we're 75 bucks higher than everybody else. Um, and you can only do that, you know, through through the website because these guys, you know, when they hand out those three names, what are they doing? They're going straight to Google, punching in your names to see what comes up. So if you don't have a killer good presence online that convinces them why they should use you over the other folks. Chances are, if you're if you're any any higher, I don't care if we're talking twenty bucks here, man. Um, that that is the deciding factor. So you've got to take that opportunity and to convince them of why they need you, and um, you know why you're not the cheapest out there. Yeah, seventy eight percent of buyers will look up your brand. Just think of your brand as your business after receiving your name from the referral sources. And William said it right there. Um, and we're going to get into this more and more as we talk about what makes a great home inspection website. Um, but the fact, fantastic uh, news is um, you can come off that list. They can, they can uh, uh, look up your company name. If you have the right things online, uh, they will choose you. Like Coach Williams says, price becomes a secondary issue. Because when, let's think about what the home buyer wants from the home inspector. They want you to be so thorough and so effective that you don't let them get stuck by a money pit. And that's what they want from the home inspector. And so we'll show you some techniques today that you can use um, that will allow that to happen. But 
just know that 78% of home buyers are going to look you up online uh, um, once they get your name from the referral source. The third reason you need to do it is continue to build your brand. Um, you only get one chance to make a great first impression. That's true in person and that's true when you're with your website. If your website is awesome, engaging, and they really dig it, see here's what happens is this is what your website should do. Your website should be so effective that they convince themselves, they being the home buyer, convinces themselves that you're the person that's right for them to protect them from the money pit. Okay, so if your website is all about you and nothing about the customer or the home buyer, um, they don't feel too good about that. Okay, so let's just recap. You got to have a great website, a converting website, so you can get business directly from the public. So if they type in Home Inspection Atlanta or Home Inspector Louisville, uh, your site comes up and it, and it lets them convince themselves. You need it to receive referral sources. A, a, a real estate agent could give you a ton of referrals. Okay, knowing that 78% are going to come to the internet and look you up, um, if your website doesn't convert those visitors into paying customers, that hurts the realtor and you. Um, so then continue to build your brand. You only have one chance to make a first impression. Um, and that's, that's very, very important. So let's move on here, Coach William, and talk about website templates. Let's talk about the pros of them. Okay. They're inexpensive. Now, Coach William, this appeals to you, I know. <laughs> you guys know Coach William, we tease him all the time about being notoriously cheap. And the only reason we tease him about that is because it's true. <laughs> yeah. I squeak when I walk. Sorry. It's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, he's been a good steward of his coins. Okay, so they're inexpensive. Um, and a lot of times there's two types of search engine optimization. That's what SEO stands for. One is on page and one is off page. And on page means the way the pages and the sites are structured. Okay, so it's, it's actually the physical aspects of the site. And many of the home inspection website templates have good on, on page SEO built right into them. Okay, but here's the cons of the templates. Okay. Um, they don't generally come with content. Okay, so here's what happens. We've learned over the last several years that there's nine elements that a website needs to have to allow a home buyer to convince themselves that you're right for them. Okay, so I, I know a lot of you guys are super fantastic home inspectors, but I don't know too many of you who are great copywriters. Now, Coach William, would you agree with that? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, you know, I've been so time consuming to try to gather that material and keep it fresh. And what a nightmare trying trying to keep that material and content going. So Google has said we want your content to be completely relevant. So if you're um, if you're offering uh, pool and spa services, then you need to write compelling content, keyword rich uh, for that particular service, and it needs to be structured in a certain way. So if you're not a great copywriter, then what happens is your website doesn't look that great and it doesn't rank. Okay, so they don't convert even though they rank well. So here's what happens is um, the SEO template, the website template might get you up closer to the uh, top of Google um, <coughs> and you get clicks, somebody clicks on it. But when they see the content and they can't understand what's in it for them by choosing your firm, within three seconds, they back browser you. Okay, so go look at somebody else's site. So the pros, they're inexpensive and they have good on-page, many of them, not all of them, but many of them that I'm aware of have good on-page SEO built right into the template. The cons is they don't convert visitors into paying customers because most home inspectors don't know how to write that kind of content. Okay, so even though they're ranked high in the search engines, those visitors don't become paying customers of the firm. And when that happens, you lose. Um, so I'm not a big fan of the web, home inspection website templates. Um, <clears throat> There's better ways to do it. Now, I think, Coach William, what really attracts people, especially newer people, they're inexpensive. And I think that's the draw. Absolutely. I mean, when you first started, did you have a million coins? <laughs> no, you got to you got to watch what you're spending and where you're spending it. So I, I totally understand it. It's just sad that, you know, um, that we think we're doing a great favor to ourselves and, and really it's, it's, it's a disservice. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll talk about it as we move on here, but, you know, uh, we, you said it, it's got to be able to convert. And uh, my team, uh, you know, had, had come to me about some issues with our website, thinking that we needed to change it up to look more like um, some of our competitors because they've got uh, fancy bells and whistles and things going on on their site. And so I, I try to drive that message home with them. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it's the ugliest website you can find. If when people click there, they continue to hit book now, that's the site I want. <laughs> and now, so, on your website, lots of people schedule their inspections without ever talking to you, don't they? 
we get a ton of inspections through our site and, and it's again most of it's agent driven um, because our name was on that list so they're just doing their doing their due diligence and researching you know online even though we are a higher price than most of our competitors we still um, you know, get a ton, a ton of work off that off that website and that's the bottom line that's that's really all that matters right that's the only reason why we've really got a website so um, you know when I get the mindset from my crew they're looking at it they're looking at these other websites and say well this guy you can go uh, get this information from his site that you don't offer and you and all these bells and whistles and places you can go to leave the site actually <laughs> then go somewhere else to never come back to the site um, you know I, I understand where they're coming from visually it may look better um, there may be a ton of unnecessary information on those sites um, that's not honed around getting them to, to, to click that button so so I don't care how pretty it is if it doesn't convert it's, it's a waste of your time and money one of the cardinal sins in uh, having a great website is have links where someone could leak off your site and go somewhere else. And we call visitors to your website traffic. I mean, we simply call it traffic. And traffic comes from a variety of places. William just said he gets traffic to his website from his real estate agents. He gets traffic to his website from lots of other sources as well. So you've worked hard to get that traffic on your website. Why would you have a link on there that would let them leak off somewhere else? Um, because here's how the whole thing works. Um, just to be honest, and this is probably more than you want to know, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway because it's important for you to understand. Um, the scenario sets up like this. Mom and dad are looking for a home in Atlanta over the weekend. Okay, so mom and dad put a contract on the home of their dreams. They found the perfect one after months of searching. Okay, so what happens is dad has to go out of town on Monday on a business trip, so mom has to get the home inspection book. So what happens? She comes home after a hard day's work. She's already picked up the kids. And she says, you know, I got to get that dang home inspection book. And uh, so she gets online and she starts reading Home Inspector A's website. And so anyway, excuse me, it has a lot of good information on there. It has these links where she can go here and links where she can go there. And, and then what happens is she's, she's digging all this information. And then little Susie runs in and says, Mom, Mom, we got to be in soccer practice in 20 minutes. Mom looks at her watch and says, dang, she's right. And you know what mom does? She closes out that website without taking the action you wanted her to take, which was book your inspection. You think she's ever going to come back to that? Never. Okay. So you lose. Okay, you lose. So this is why we have tested these nine elements. Then we, we, we call them the secret sauce. We have them in the right order. We take them down a path. And the only option they have when they're finished is to book their inspection, either online or call us or get your butt off my website. That's it. We don't let them leak off anywhere else. And, and so Coach William, about his team, you know, he, he, it does look some of these JavaScripts and all that looks cool and all that, but wow, why? You know, all you want is them to book your inspection. That's your website's job to be your best salesperson 24-7. No vacations, no sick days, no nothing. You want that thing out there selling like a son of a gun day in and day out. So I see it. I hear it all the time. What the home inspectors will say, well, that doesn't look as good uh, as the other one I saw, but, you know, how does that other one convert? Visitors into paying customers, so I, I feel you paying Coach William. Yeah, or, or, or not that uh, not, you know, the aesthetics, of course, are important, but not that it might uh, look better. It's just that you know there's more information there. Like you can click, you could go to their website and oh, there's something about you know hardy board siding. Well, the home that buyer happens to look for is looking at maybe it has hardy board siding. So that's cool. Let's click on that, and they start reading about hardy board siding, and from there you've got a, a link that goes to the manufacturer or something. And first thing you know, they've lost focus about why they were there in the first place, and that was the book of home inspection. And, and, I'm, and I, was, I was really guilty of that in the beginning when we first, you know, I had my own website that we put together before I turned it over to you guys. I, that was my mindset. I was always dumping more info, dumping more info, because I thought the more info I provided, the better off I was, not realizing I was uh, breaking the thought process of, you know, book that inspection. <laughs> And it, we're going to do another webinar here uh, pretty shortly, Coach William and I. We're really talking about your home inspection we, uh, website. We're talking about your sales website. This sales website that we're talking about today is meant for no one but home buyers, not realtors, not prior clients, not lenders, not influencers in your community. This website is meant for home buyers only. But Coach William has a legitimate point. Um, you have a much larger, larger target audience than just uh, uh, home buyers. So how we deal with that is we connect a blog, a separate blog. Uh, to your to your sales website and we drive traffic or visitors remember traffic means visitors so we drive traffic to that blog uh, from prior clients and from real estate agents and from lenders and mortgage brokers influencers in your community friends and family all that information coach William was talking about Hardy board and all the other things electrical that's all on your blog 
because it has a much larger target audience than your website. Okay, your website again, just for home buyers. So Coach William learned, has learned that strategy and said that makes complete sense, and now they drop traffic to their blog um, for those types of things. So th th that's how we'll deal with it. Um, let's talk about what makes a home inspe an inspection website great. Everybody's been using that great again, huh? I thought I'd just use it here too, Coach William. <laughs> we'll make your home inspection website great again. <laughs> that's kind of a slogan. I've seen all kinds of advertisers tie right into that. I think that's really smart. Sure. Okay, there's only two things that make a home inspection website great. It converts visitors into paying customers, and it has to work great on mobile devices. Um, and Coach William, I know you and Miss Sherry have been going down the road of life, and you guys have been going someplace, and you looked on your mobile device to try to find something. And when you found a, a website that wasn't mobile friendly, how did you feel about that? Well, you just click right back off. There are too many, too many out there that that are mobile friendly to waste your time trying to scroll through all that junk that you get when it's not. So I think everybody does that way. That, that wasn't what I was looking for. They just back browser and go to the next, next, uh, next website, and you lose. So, uh, and I'm going to show you some stats here in a minute that show you you can lose really big with millennials. So it, the, the the key to this thing is you have a website converts visitors into paying customers, and it works great on mobile devices. And let's talk about what that means and how it works. Okay, we're going to use some techniques to convert. All right, so what you have to know about this is, is this. Um, nobody buys anything until they understand what's in it for them. Okay, they don't buy anything. Think about if you were going to buy a tablet for your software, your home inspection software. Um, you wouldn't buy it unless you understood what's in it for you. Okay, well, home buyers are the same way. Okay, what happens is they have to understand what's in it for them before they're going to select you as their home inspector. Okay, so what happens is your website has to do two things. It has to establish you as the obvious expert in your marketplace, and it has to build know me, like me, trust me with the, the, the client. Okay, and that's why I was talking to you earlier about these nine elements that we've tested. We know when we have these nine elements in the right order on the sales webpage, then what happens is consumers work down through there, get the information they need, and then what happens, they book their inspection or they call you on the phone. They either do it online or call you on the phone. So conversion is really, really important. And Coach William, I think that using videos on the website, which is certainly one of the nine elements, um, helps you build expertise uh, and know me like me, trust me. I know we have them on your side. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think video just becomes more and more powerful you know, all the time. And it's and it's very underutilized by you know the inspectors as far as, as far as I can tell. So. I think it's a missed opportunity if you're not doing that because it definitely does, you know, establish you as the expert. You know, these things that you're talking about right here, of course, I don't even want to go all through all nine uh, criteria, but, you know, to be able to um, to establish that you're the person they're looking for is the very first thing, which I love about um, the site that, that Kenneth has got together for us is, you know, right off the bat, when you when you click on that page, it answers the question that's on their mind. What you know, what 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 are they looking for? You know, why should they choose you over anybody else? And so you just ask that question right on your site, and then answer it for them. I think that that's a killer strategy because why beat around the bush? This is what it's all about. Um, and then building that know me like me trust me. If you're doing videos, endorsements that are on there, just anything that establishes you, um, you know, as again as the expert and someone that they would be able to trust. So. Um, I think all that's critical. Again, I'm trying to keep the fluff on, on the back or on, on the blog and, and let's let's stay focused on why they landed on that site in the first place. Well, you know, the fluff is it, that's really meant for a different market, a, a different target audience. That's meant for somebody else. You're, you're in sales mode here. Um, right. But, you know, William, one of the other elements is is having the business owner's picture on the website, smiling face, and then we make right by the guarantee section, we make you a, a no-nonsense, no-weasel words guarantee. Um, and we looked at a couple of websites our staff did yesterday. We had a staff meeting yesterday about 4 o'clock um, to go over some things. And we were looking at, we, we uh, have some new clients uh, that are coming in. We'll handle their online marketing this week. And we were looking at their competitors. And you know what happens is uh, many of their competitors didn't have the owner's picture on there. But you and I both know that consumers don't want to do business with nameless, faceless corporations, do they? That's right. And, and you know, and I think it begs the question of because uh, I can I can say the opposite, not not that it's the norm, but I, I have a, a local competitor here who uh, probably shouldn't have his picture on his website, <laughs> uh, uh, just because you know, if you're comparing apples to apples, you'd be looking at this guy and saying, you know, is he really physically fit? 
um, to be able to pull this off. So so be careful with that. But, uh, but yeah, I agree that they need to, to have a smiling face there. He should have done a headshot from here out. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got a face for radio. He surely should have done a headshot. Uh, so that's it. So th these elements. Now, one of the other elements, and we, uh, Coach Weem and I did a whole webinar on the videos, and it'll be here on the homepage, too, of our site. I would encourage you to go over there and look at, the, look at it because we detailed out uh, why videos are the Home Inspector's secret weapon. Um, and so uh, another element on a website is uh, reviews. Um, that builds know me, like me, trust me, and certainly establishes expertise. Um, and Coach Lee, you have tons of reviews for your firm. Yeah, and especially I think if you, and I, again, I don't want to get ahead of you here, but if you're uh, a member of the BBD, having that emblem on there where they can click and go see those reviews um, uh, carries a lot of weight. So, yeah, I mean, we've got one of the beautiful things about the site, even if they go somewhere else on the site, um, the endorsements stay right there, just running down the running down the side of the page, and there's a ton of them. So I think that just really drives it home. Um, you know that obviously you've got experience; you wouldn't have that many endorsements on there, and, and you must do a great job, or people wouldn't be saying those things. So um, there's nothing more powerful than having a past client stand up and brag about you. You can brag about yourself all day long, and you'll sound like a salesman. Um, right. Those clients stand up and, and start making those kind of comments. That carries a lot of a lot of validity, a lot of weight. And one of the things that um, Coach William and I did a webinar on reputation marketing, and you'll be able to see it here on the homepage of our site as well. And I would encourage you to look at that. It's one of the most important things in converting visitors into paying customers. And one of the things we do for our, our clients where we handle their online marketing, we stream reviews from social sites across the Internet. So the reviews on Coach William's site will say they came from Foursquare in the date, and they'll cut, they, or they came from Google in the date, so that they can see that they're fresh, Reviews. Now, we only stream positive reviews, you know, four and five star reviews. Um, our system doesn't allow anything less than a four star to stream on, on our clients' websites. But um, I think that adds a tremendous amount of credibility because it says where it came from and um, they can see it's fresh. And, and Coach William, you and I saw one the other day where, I mean, the guy got a re review positive five years ago. Where have you been lately? Right, right. So, yeah, so it needs to be fresh. And, you know, I don't know if we're touching on it here, but having a nice little strategy or system in place to keep those uh, endorsements collected and current is, is important. So what we really say is we're using these two techniques. We establish you as the obvious expert in your marketplace and we build know me, like me, trust me. Now we were just talking about the strategies or techniques by which we do those things. Okay, and there's lots more. If you if were to go in and analyze our clients' websites, you would understand uh, uh, more things that we're doing. I mean, just as things as um, the uh, a happy family is carrying boxes into a home, and that's a strategic place on the website. Okay, that really conveys the consumers they had an inspection done by our client, and, and they were very happy, and they're moving in. We use all kind of subtle techniques that we test on to make sure that that website does those two things: establish you as the obvious expert and builds know me, like me, trust me with the visitors. Okay, so. But those two concepts right there are the most important thing, and then we have a bevy of strategies that we use to, to make it happen. So, Coach William, let's look at um, if that website is all about you, that thing isn't going to convert, is it? No. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. But, and a lot of people think that way, too. Just all my credentials, all my certifications, have all that plastered up on there. And there's a place for that, but that's, that's not the reason those folks are landing there. The, uh, it's funny, uh, we were looking at some websites again in, in one of our new clients uh, area and his competitors and in the first fold and what I mean by that, what you can see on, the, on your screen when you open a website if, and not have to scroll down. That's what we call the first fold. Think of a newspaper folded in half. What's up at the top is called the first fold. It's the same way on a website. And within the first fold, you could, I couldn't find the guy's phone number. <laughs> I'm like, I was looking around. I said to the staff, I don't think I see the phone number. I'm looking around, looking around, I'm like, wow, there's no phone number to first fold. Um, and there's all kinds of links up there, and, you know, the educational credentials are there. And like Coach William said, that's important, but not at that moment. Um, the clients don't know whether you uh, uh, made those up or what those mean or anything. There is, they are important as you go along the sales process, but not in the beginning. The customer has to understand what's in it for them in, uh, for using your firm in the first five seconds. Otherwise, they back browser you. They're busy. Coach William, you got any spare time to do this? Yeah, no, and nobody does. I mean, not today. Yeah, nobody does. So um, you really have to have a website that catches them immediately, uh, um, and we talked about that. So let's look at the mobile. Why is this so important? Okay. 
95% of smartphone users have searched for local information. Now, that's huge, that's huge. And here's what's really even better for us. One third of all searches for local business are now made on a mobile device. So if your website is not mobile friendly, um, you're in serious trouble. Or if you don't have a mobile website, you're in serious trouble. And you know we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. Okay, 60% of users call a business that, or visit the location after searching. That's huge, that is huge. 70% of those people take action with one, within one hour of their search. Coach Wheaton, that's some pretty pretty powerful stats. Yeah, it's, that's incredible. And, you know, this is something that, uh, that you've been saying is heading in this direction for quite some time. And so, you know, here we are, and it continues to um, you know, exceed what I think we, our expectations were. So especially, again, um, and I don't know if you have the stats on here, but the millennials, you know, are making up the largest majority of our buying uh, population right now. So. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, Preston at our last uh, workshop, I thought it was great for him to uh, get up there and he made the comment that, you know, you have to be where their eyes are and where are their eyes right there on that, on that mobile device. And so if you can't, if you can't have a strong presence there and, and look good, again, it has to be mobile friendly. Um, you know, I think you're missing a, a huge, a huge missed opportunity. And you know, William, um, if you can, uh, and this is the thing for home inspectors, because the millennials are 18 to 34 years old, that's their generation, and they're now bigger than the baby boomers. You know, we're dying off, and they're, 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 they're going strong. Um, but I think one of the things that happens is, and, here, and we're not going to talk about this today, but we're going to talk about it later, and that's the use of a smartphone and Instagram. Uh, as a home inspector, you're, you're video and picture driven, okay, and, and only you can send, uh, uh, you know, videos or pictures to Instagram. So if you were to successfully build an account and optimize it and get an audience following you, um, you got a lot of built-in material. And those are good backlinks coming from Instagram. Um, so that's how important smartphones have really become. Now the kids are using Snapchat. Our granddaughter and others, they used to use Instagram a lot, but they use Snapchat. But I don't see Snapchat working for the home inspectors. But certainly the smartphone group, the tablet group, uh, Instagram is, uh, is a good way to do it. And I want to follow up on a point that I was talking with Coach William about. And, and years ago, I said to our clients, our coaching clients, <laughs> that the, the grip that the real estate agents had on the home buyers was going to slip. And that if when the home buyers decided they didn't want to get their home inspector from the real estate agent anymore or a larger percentage of them, how were they going to find them? In the old days, they'd have gone to the Yellow Pages, wouldn't they, Coach? That's right. But do you have a Yellow Pages book in your house at all? <laughs> it's on my phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Your online presence now has replaced the yellow pages. Uh, when we lived in Naples, the first year we moved in uh, to the house there, um, somebody came by and left a couple of yellow page books. And I said to Beth, what's that? You know? And then we just tossed them in the recycling. We never even opened the plastic. Um, you know, that's not the way the world works today. So um, th the reason you need a converting website, we talked about it right over here, these three reasons. So you can get business directly from the public so the realtors can refer you and the clients can believe that you're the person to protect them. And then, of course, you get one chance to make a first impression. So I want you to understand why we're talking to you about this. Um, it's, it's the future of uh, lead generation for the home inspection industry. Um, if you're not getting business from the internet, from one of these ways, from especially the first two, re re referral sources, whether it's realtors, lenders, whoever, influencers in the community, and directly from search on the internet, I think you're going to be in trouble. I think you're going to be a dinosaur, don't you, Coach Wheaton? All right, you gotta gotta stay with it. Gotta stay with the times. You know, keep, you know whatever the changes are, and this is this is huge for us. So, and again, it isn't something that just happened overnight. We, you know, you like you said, you've seen this coming, and we've talked about it. And, uh, it's definitely here with, with a strong foundation to stay. Let's think about this and what this really means to the home inspector. And I think this is important too. A lot of home inspectors in the market today are older men. Okay, it's a second or third career for them. Um, they're older for whatever reason, but they're older men. And generally, they aren't internet savvy, are they? No. So if I was a younger home inspector and I was internet savvy, you know what happens is I would take advantage of all this stuff so fast that um, because you know what happens is the guys are entrenched already and aren't doing it. So we have a client, he's a, a part-time home inspector. He's got a great job and he's gonna move full-time in March or April. And so the first thing I said to him, I talked to him about the internet and how he could leverage that to get business from home, from home buyers 
And when he gets a, a, a home buyer inspection, I mean, home buyer inspection, who do they bring with them, Coach? They bring a buyer's agent, don't they? Absolutely. Okay, so here's what I taught him to say. Um, I, we haven't worked together before. Are you a little nervous about what we're going to do here today? And, and the agent will say, absolutely. And then what happens is Stephen will say, okay, and, and this is the script I have for him. Um, here's what I want to do. I'm going to let you know right up front that I'm going to be thorough um, so that you don't get callbacks because I missed something. But I'm also going to communicate my inspection findings in a neutral, non-scary manner. How does that sound? The agent's like, that sounds way better. So then I, then I had him say this. Okay, here, here's what I'd like to ask. At the end of the inspection, when the client's not around, I'm going to ask you, did I live up to my commitment? To be thorough uh, uh, in the inspection so you don't get callbacks and also deliver my inspection findings in a neutral, non-scary manner. And if you say yes, what I'd like you to do is agree to put me on your approved vendor list. Okay. So at the end of the inspection, he asks them, and they say, absolutely, you're a breath of fresh air in the industry. You did a great job, and you weren't scared. Now, we, isn't that what we're supposed to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so this is how you get agents. Okay, we had another client in Texas. He did the same thing, only in the day we worked with him to use pay-per-click, okay, or AdWords, they call it today. So Google AdWords brought the home buyer to him. Uh, the home buyer showed up with the buyer's agent, and Jim did this exact same thing that we taught him. Um, and it's a great opportunity to leverage the internet to get new agents. Okay, you're not out having to knock on doors and all that, because not many of them are home now, are they, William? That's right. Okay. I hope everybody gets how important this is. Coach William and I would not be investing our time in this um, if it wasn't critical to your success. Okay, so we know I need it. Um, we know the template maybe isn't the best thing. I understand the money thing, but uh, I'm going to show you something in just a minute that may convince you that the template route is not the best way to go. Um, and what makes a great website conversion, obviously mobile friendly. Now let's talk about what makes, uh, a, does a home inspection website cost or pay? Now Coach William, we always say it's, it's not about the investment, it's about the return, don't we? That's absolutely right. Because sometimes people just look at the investment um, and they say, well, I can't afford it. But the question is really, can they or can't they? So let's do a little bit of math right here. Let me get the screen out where I can see it. Okay, so I just made a couple of assumptions here. Let's, let's say that your average inspection fee is 350 bucks, all right, and your expense ratio is 30%. In other words, when you do a home inspection, what happens, 30% goes to pay your expenses, your truck, your tools, insurance, E&O, you know, salaries, whatever you have. Let's say, so we're saying your expense ratio is 30%. So if you book five inspections a month with the help of a converting website, you added $1,225 to your bottom line that month. And if you did 10 inspections through your website, um, $24.50 in pre-tax profit to the bottom line. Okay, now, Coach William, we don't sell websites that cost $12.50 or $12.25 or $24.50. Right. So in one month, if you got that kind of conversion, if you just converted five new customers to your website, you got your money back. You paid for it, right? Absolutely. Okay. So um, if you got a thousand a month in, in pre-tax profits and there's 12 months, you've made twelve thousand dollars additional from your website. And that's the, that, those are just the ones that converted to the website. How about the ones that came, looked at your website, and said, this is the company for me, and called you on the phone? Right. Yeah, um, you know, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so for less than a thousand bucks, you know, people can uh, do that. Sorry about that. I should have turned my phone off right here. Okay. So, um, so, so it, this really pays. It doesn't cost. Um, so that's a, that's a good thing. Now, let's talk about this. The Savvy Inspector builds high converting websites exclusively for home inspectors. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that'll build a home inspector website. They don't know anything about home inspectors. They don't know anything about home inspection. They don't have any idea how a home inspector gets business. They don't have, have any idea about real estate agents or what it takes, what consumers want from the home inspector. I mean, th but they'll build you a website. We see them, don't we, William? Yeah, yeah, you know, so and I'll let you go ahead here, but just, you know, again, it's a niche. We're, we're in such a unique niche uh, for this that I, it's just not something that you would, would turn over to, you know, an um, advertising agency that handles, you know, bukus of different kinds of businesses. This is, uh, we're a little unique here, <laughs> a little right. different. So, you know, I, talking to other folks, are like, oh, we should, you know, a billboard or do some of these crazy things. And, uh, and I get that, if, you know, if you're a, a termite pest company. Uh, maybe maybe going to the public with billboards is a great thing, but for home inspectors, what a waste of uh, big money 
you know, in the hopes that somebody's going to drive by that happens to be looking for a home. So our money is much more um, profitable, as, you know, bigger return for us on our, our investments to um, invest in this niche, getting getting our information in the hands of folks who are looking for us, one, and can refer us uh, on, on the other side. So I probably just stepped on what you were saying. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's exactly correct. I mean, um, the big companies, they, I mean, website builders, they usually look for aesthetics instead of conversion. They don't know anything about sales. They just build a website that looks nice. Well, that's great, but they don't know what the nine elements are. They've never tested them. Um, they have no idea if they'll convert visitors into paying customers. Dang, they look nice. Um, some of them don't even look that nice. Um, so, you know, we don't do um, retail stores because we have to figure out how they got business. We have writers on staff. Uh, our writers wouldn't know what to write about a retail store. Our writers know home inspections. They know the services home inspectors provide. Um, so, so that's the way it works. And our websites work great on mobile devices. Coach William, I want to talk a, a minute more about a strategy that we're using on your website now. We're developing it as we speak. And that is the use of FAQ videos and SAQ videos. And also, um, you doing some videos uh, about the products that you sell. Right. So, you know, again, trying to uh, create a video is just so, so powerful. Um, and I think any way that we can utilize that to get our message across um, is a big step in the right direction. So, you know, by driving, uh, my understanding was from uh, talking to Ken Lennar, um, you know, Google has made some changes where, um, they are basically um, ranking pages off of your site versus the site. Um, and he gave me some great reasons, which made you know, perfect sense why they would do that. Uh, pirating, uh, kind of pir pirating um, for websites, I guess, is part of that reason. It sounded like, uh, you know, I go out and start a global heating and air company website, and I start getting all these hits. Then I go around to heating and air companies trying to sell them those leads. <laughs> it happens every day of the week, and it's a very profitable strategy for those companies. Right. So, but I can see why Google doesn't like that. Google wants you to punch in a name and find that product that you're looking for, the branded person that you're looking for. So, uh, so with that in mind, then we're trying to, um, you know, SEO these pages per um, the services that make me money. Um, so we're going to, you know, video and what have you for those for those particular pages for radon, mold, termite, whatever the home inspection, whatever your services are. So um, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. I'm, I'm looking to, to to see a, a huge jump. Um, in our rankings because of that, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. But yeah, I mean, who's going to think that way? Um, other other marketing companies or website designers out there aren't going to, you know, they're not going to think that way. And, and again, it's a niche for us. It'd be different if we had one product that we sold. Um, you know, if home inspections is all you do. Well, well, great, but that's really not true. You know, we have a lot of services to offer, and we want each one of those to rank. Um, again, another another seminar or another presentation here, but. You know, being able to d diversify your income is so uh, important. And if home inspections are all you do in the market tanks. You know, what are you going to do? So we've got to have other ways, you know, other ways to offset that income. Um, and so I think doing this, working with Kim Lenar to make this happen, I've, I've really got some high expectations here. Yeah, we've already, our writers are already working on it. They've done the edits, and so we'll be getting those put up. But I want to just say this. We're, we're constantly innovating on behalf of our clients. I mean, we're in the home inspection industry. You know, for 13 and a half years, I owned a huge home inspection company built from scratch. You know, we had 13 home inspectors going full-time and five full-time schedulers plus support staff. We know the home inspection industry. Okay, so what happens is when we do these FAQ or SAQ uh, um, videos, they see Coach William. The question gets asked. He answers it. You know what, he's like talking to the person who had that question, all right? And so what happens is that technique establishes him as the obvious expert and builds know me, like me, trust me, right on his website. Forget the rankings. How is that going to increase conversion? Right. Okay? I mean, this is what this is about. They Nobody wants to do business with a faceless, nameless corporation. We already said it. So Coach William can now become more personal to there because you can't sit in front of somebody and convince them. I mean, you're on a computer screen. Okay, but let your website do the heavy lifting. So what we do is we work once and we benefit over and over for every visitor that comes to there, clicks on the services page. And he has, we have all the services listed out on different pages. Then, then we have them linked back and forth. Okay, so, so that works out great. So you can trust this important business building strategy to somebody who doesn't get it, who's going to build a pretty website, maybe, um, that doesn't convert visitors into paying customers. But Coach Williams said it earlier, it could be butt ugly as long as it converts. He doesn't care. Right. 
All right, Coach William, I hope everybody sees how important this is. Reputation is critical. Your website is critical. Video marketing is critical. I said it to Coach William the other day when we were talking with a client together. Um, you're getting all this business from real estate agents. Okay, when real estate agents finally go away uh, in their current form, uh, then what happens? How are you going to replace those inspections that you got from them in the past? And this online going direct to the public is the way it's going to happen. Um, so, again, Coach William and I wouldn't be talking about these things. Um, if they weren't important to your success. Um, and, and some of you are probably saying, how oh, can real estate agents aren't going away? Well, I'll ask you, how many, if you're going to do marketing in offices, how many agents are at home? And Coach Weedman, what, what about in your territories? Because you have Kentucky and Indiana. Yeah, uh, same story here. You know, I, and just uh, not to uh, uh, pump Ken up here, but it's like years ago he, he made that comment, you know, that the agents were going to disappear from the offices. And I laughed. I'm like, you know, that might be true in some areas, but that's not going to happen in my area. Um, and of course he was right and, and I'm, I'm living that experience <laughs> as we speak and so and, it's, and it goes on right on when we say that they're losing the grip on home inspectors you know will they ever totally lose it probably not but but we see it happening it's like now you know if you if you're uh, selling your own home you can go right out on Zillow and list that thing no MLS required um, you know no agent required uh, so there's there's the one step in that direction where the listing agent has now got to rethink um, you know, how, how am I going? How am I going to supplement that income when, when these folks start doing that? So um, I think agents will always be involved, legality, you know, trying to reduce risk, those kind of things. But I think it'll be more a la carte uh, than it will be to walk in, hire an agent to do the full gamut. Because um, especially again, millennials are the smartest generation, most educated generation we've ever had. Um, really most techy. Yeah. So and, and most techy, right? So I mean. Um, if it can be done online or done on a smartphone, these folks know how to do it. And I, and I think that's when it comes to saving them a buck or, you know, the commission uh, or for a real estate agent, you bet they're going to move in that direction. Wouldn't, wouldn't we all if we had that ability? So um, so uh, I'm not uh, doubting Ken's <laughs> uh, prediction on the future in that direction because I see it happening, you know, as we speak. So, um, so again, it's just so, so important that we have this online presence um, and done correctly. And again, I don't care if it's the ugliest site in the world and I have to, I keep my staff, you know, try to keep them in this, this mind frame because you see these other sites and the other, all this other site's so pretty and they've got all these uh, other options that you can do, things you can do. And, and so my argument has always been and still remains that I, I really don't care uh, what their site's got because ours converts. Um, whether, whether you're on the first page or not, you know, it doesn't matter. You could be, be at the top of the Google on the first page and if your site is crap, you know, what a waste of good real estate. <laughs> right. Right. No, you're exactly right. A couple other things, Coach William, I think that home inspectors may not be aware of in general, and that is in the news, uh, the premier real estate industry uh, publication uh, reported a couple of months ago that now a home buyer, a uh, home seller rather, can um, list their home on the MLS for absolutely for free. Right. And then uh, I think another thread is this, uh, on the list on the sales side, do you think today that you can look up and find any home that you want on the internet that's for sale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can. So what is it? Why do you need the seller's agent? Okay, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that are threatening. How about these virtual brokers, Zillow, Trulia, you know, Redfin, Zip? Okay, so what happens is, um, you know, uh, the other real estate brokers that own a brick-and-mortar business, guess what they're saying? Those guys are killing us in profitability. We need to go more virtual. We need to dump this building, the copy machine, uh, all these others. That's what Zip Realty did. They rent some conference rooms around, okay? So there's lots of things, and we also know, and this, this could be the final death knell for them, is that um, the IRS and others are looking to see our real estate agents really uh, 1099 employees, or they really W-2 employees. And you and I both know that if they're W-2 employees, those ones that don't produce are gone immediately. The broker's not going to carry them. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of changes afoot here in the real estate market. Um, so one thing's for certain, though, people are going to still need home inspections, but the question is, how are they going to find you when, uh, even now, uh, how are they going to find you um, if you don't have superior online presence and, and it starts with a great home inspection website? Now you can go in today and you can type in survey home inspections into the Internet, and Coach William and his staff are going to own the first 10 pages of Google. Okay, so when somebody comes off that list from the real estate agent and they click on it, they're reading all these things. They're, you know, it's his website, other properties where we have them listed. They go to page two and it's him again. They go to page three, 
they're like, this company is huge. They, they, these guys are good. Um, and reviews show up there, review videos show up there, all kinds of things. So um, building your online presence today um, is an investment for your future. All right, Coach Lee, we told more than we wanted to tell on this webinar. Anything else? No, great job. I just again, it's just, just so important. And we hear it all the time from clients, you know, because we ask, you know, how did you find us? And, um, you know, nine times out of ten, it's, 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 from, it's from, you know, checking out our website online. So um, even, though, even though the original referral came from the agent or the lender or previous client, whatever, um, they still will, you know, put you in online and, and check you out. So if you're not... If you're not able to, you know, close that cell right there, if your website's not, not converting, you know, they're, they're, they're next. Just look at yeah. the next name on the list. So um, I think it's, it's just really, really important and continues to become more important. And Coach William, I'm going to say this one last thing. You should, as a home inspector, you should go back and look at your own website. Pull it up online, look at it. If you can't, if you can't understand what's in it for you in the first five seconds, then you should probably give us a shout. And under this video on the website, there will be a link. You can just push on that link and set up an appointment to speak with one of our folks. No pressure. They'll talk with you about it. Um, you know, they even look at your site, talk to you about some issues that we're concerned with um, so that you can get started on uh, 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 the road to getting business directly from the public. The consultation is completely free. Um, so that's no issue there. But just click on that link and, uh, and speak with one of our folks and uh, they'll talk with you about it and you can make an informed decision. Coach William, thanks again. Uh, I really appreciate all your expertise. Okay, my pleasure.